everybody! Welcome to another episode on the Virtual Shelling Network. I am going to be taking you shelling on this beautiful Sanibel evening. This is a view of the West End. Here on Sanibel, you can see we have turtle nests beginning to arrive on the island. There is a osprey up there looking like he's maybe looking for some dinner fishing in the distance there. Let me see if I can zoom in. So this is turtle season and you will start to see turtle nests on the beach, they will be marked with yellow tape. Oh, it's a little breezy today. And usually a great over top, so the turtle patrol will check for turtle nests in the morning. They look for the tracks coming up um, from the water, and then they mark the nest, they verify the nest, so they will dig up down, I should say, until they see eggs. If they see eggs, they call that a nest verification. So they verified that there is a nest. If there is no nest, then that is usually what we call a false crawl, where the female maybe decided it wasn't a good place or it wasn't a good time, maybe something spooked her, um, and she didn't lay eggs. But if they verify that there are eggs, then they go ahead and cover it back up and they put this grate here and they tack it down and this prevents animals from digging in the eggs and eating them. So coyotes, raccoons, birds, and it keeps the eggs protected. And then they go ahead and they fence it off so nobody, um, you know, runs over it or walks over it. I'll go ahead and just give you guys a little sea turtle information here. You guys can go ahead and pause your video if you want to read through this a little bit um, more thoroughly, but April 15th through October 30th is when we are in turtle season, and this is some fun facts for sea turtles and also the SCCF contact number. So if you need to report a um, injured sea turtle or if you find a hatchling, that is the number that you can call and then they mark the nest. Um, this is nest 108. So they already have quite a few nests here, which is super fun. So we are gonna go check out the beach. It looks like we have some fun shell piles right down here. So let's go. All right, sometimes you come to the beach and there's not a lot of shells so we've got to walk and sometimes you walk out and there are shell piles just waiting for you. Look at this. Oh, this is fun. So it looks like we're, I actually didn't check the tide today. I normally don't because you guys know I come to the beach um, when I can come to the beach. So sometimes I come to the beach and it's high tide. Sometimes I come to the beach and it's low tide and sometimes the tide is going in or going out. Um, this is kind of a look here. We've got some nice rack lines here. So the tide is either going in or going out. I'm not really sure which. Um, before I start shelling the higher rack line or shell piles, I like to go check out the brake line. You guys know I'm a brake line sheller. I'm sorry, it's a little breezy today. It usually is here on the West End. But particularly when we've got some nice calm-ish water. I say ish because, you know, we do have some waves going on here, but if you guys can see, it's actually kind of clear. So I'm going to come down this way because, hello, hello, if I walk this way, you guys are going to see me instead of the shelves. So I'm going to get to where the sun is in front of me, and we're going to do a little brake line shelling here. Um, I'm gonna walk down a little ways and then we're gonna walk back this way. All right, guys, I walked down just a little bit um, so we can kind of shell the brake line here. Um, 
And if you'll notice, like there's not too much in the brake line right here, right? So sometimes you have to walk. And I, I know that I, you guys are probably, oh my God, you say that all the time, but it's really true. Like right now you don't see a whole lot of shells, but if you start to walk, you're gonna start to see the brake line, right? Like all of a sudden you start to see some shells here. Like back here, you don't really see a whole lot. And then all of a sudden, right here, you see like a really good brake line of shells. And this is where you want to kind of start to walk and look. So there's the little top of a whelk right there. I don't know if it's broken. Yep, but that's okay. That's what you want to look for. You've got to train your eye to be able to see the shells. And this is such a great little area when it's um, low tide or when it's calm to be able to check out shells in the brake line. So a couple things that you want to look for. You want to look for shells that are rolling. So anything that's kind of rolling and tumbling along. The other thing you want to look for is color. Okay, you guys see the bright orange? Want to look for color. And the West End is truly an amazing place to find orange scallops. I don't find orange scallops like this anywhere else. It's pretty awesome. There's another little piece um, of a horse conch right here. Here, it's broken, but that's what you're gonna be looking for, right? You're gonna look for the color. And then you're also gonna wanna look for things that are buried because sometimes the bigger shells you're not gonna see a whole shell, you're just gonna see a portion of it. So look over here, there's a little whelk right here rolling. You see it tumbling? Tumble, tumble, tumble. And this is such a great night for this because the water is so clear and it's not always clear. It's not, listen, sometimes you, you luck out and you've got a great, nice, clear evening. Here's a little, beautiful little calico clam. Sometimes you luck out and you've got a beautiful clear evening and sometimes you know the waves are rocking and rolling. I've been out here before where there's no way you can shell the brake line. There's no way you can stand here in the water and see anything. Um, but tonight we're lucking out. This is pretty good. It's a pretty conch right here. Can you guys see that pretty conch right there? How pretty. Looks like there's some orange right here. It's like a nice bay scallop. It's a little broken, but that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that orange color. And I'll come back up here where it's a little bit more shallow so you guys can see that this is absolutely, if you asked me, where my favorite place to shell is, I'm gonna tell you the brake line. A lot of people love to shell the rack line, and I love to shell the rack line too, don't get me wrong, I love the rack line, but if I had to pick, I would shell the brake line. Ooh, look at this, look at the little coquinas. So it is coquina season here. There's coquinas everywhere, I'll find a little pile for you guys. Um, look how pretty nice little pink coquina so this one's obviously not alive but if you can't get them open they are alive so you got to put them back but I'll uh, I'll find you a little coquina patch they're usually somewhere around the break line where the water's coming in and you guys will get to see a bunch of coquinas those are always a really fun sight here's a little patch that's great let's see what you guys can see here I'm gonna hold the camera still so you guys can see, I see a whole bunch of fun shells right here. So here's a horse conch. Look at that. Here's a regular, well not a regular conch, but a fighting conch. Here's a whelk. Make sure nobody's in here. Nobody's in there. Let me put these in my shell bag. What else do you guys see? There's a little olive right here pretty olive. Then there's a little juvenile conch right here. I saw a button shell too, but 
it might have, uh, oh, there it is. It's right, um, there's a serif. And where did the little button shell go? Oh, it's somewhere, somewhere around here. I think it might have, uh, rolled away. But this is exactly what you look for. You just come down, find a little shell spot and hang out and look for shells, and it's so fun. Look at this little conch right here, this is pretty. Ooh, there's a little baby welcome here. We can grab it. Oh, look how cute. And the fun thing about the brake line here is you, you really never know what you'll find. This is where you find some fun this is where you find some fun stuff. This is where you find some fun alphabet cones. This is where you find some of your bigger conks. Look how pretty this one is, right? This is where you find some of your bigger shells sometimes. Here's a really pretty whelk. There's a little uh, apple murex, see it right there? Here's a little worm snail. We don't find many wormies around uh, Sanibel, but I love them, and I know that a lot of you guys love them too. Let's see what else we can spot here as we kind of walk right along the brake line. Ooh, I see some orange. I see some bright orange there to the left. It's broken. But look how pretty that one would have been. That would have been a beautiful rough scallop, beautiful bright orange rough scallop. And there's a big auger. Do you guys see that big auger sitting right here? And here's a serif. So you guys will be able to see the difference between an auger and a serif. An auger is right here and the serif is here. A little different texture, shaped the same, but a little different color and a little different texture on those two shells. Oh, this is so fun! There's a little crab. I don't know if the little crab's alive. I don't think he's alive. He just looks like he's had better days. Before you pick up a crab, make sure you know if it's alive or not. This is a speckled crab. He's got little speckles there. So sometimes we find their, um, their legs or their shells when they shed their shells. a little bit and see if we can find anything fun. Sometimes this will be where some bigger things are too. You can see this larger piece of whelk right here. And here's a beautiful giant heart cockle. Look at the color on that. That is absolutely beautiful. So many different places to shell too, especially when the water is really calm like this. You really do have your, have your pick of where you want to shell. If you want to shell in the water, out of the water, and the water is very warm right now, which is nice too, so you're not freezing your little toes off. There's a couple orange scallops. Looks like we've got some bay scallops here. So for whatever reason, bay scallops seem to be always broken. They, they are just, I guess they're just fragile, but they are so beautiful and so big. So when you find them whole, it really is a treasure. And I mean, you can always take this and, you know, put another shell on it if you have a shell mirror or a picture frame. So don't ever think that just because a shell might be broken or chipped or have a hole in it that you can't still use it and enjoy it. Here's another base gallop here. It's a little darker version. So they do come in different shades. Here is a piece of a true tulip. Look how pretty that would have been, right? So the true tulips are here. We just gotta, we just gotta find them. It's a beautiful, bright, bright juvenile conch. Here's another little calico clam hiding. Can you see it right here? 
hiding in the sand, kind of buried. Buried in the sand. And I can't really tell if the tide's coming in or going out. It doesn't really matter to me, but we're gonna take advantage of this, this awesome, clear and calm little brake line. This is such a great place for minis too. If you're a mini fan, grab a little scooper, scoop some up, take them up to the beach. You'll find so many little shells and they're really hard to see because they're constantly moving. So they're really hard to pick out if you just stand here looking. Like here's a little, what is this? A little Murex maybe. But if you've got a scooper, this is a great place to scoop up some shells, take them up, dump them on the beach, sift through them a little bit. Oh, there's a pretty drill. Do you see that big drill, that sharper drill right here? Look at that one. Look how pretty, that's a big one. They usually don't get quite, quite so big. You can see that sharp ridge on the, on the edge there. So lots of fun little minis and tinies. I mean, if you just take a handful like this, and start to sift through, you know, you'll never know what you'll what you'll find. Here's a little little drill here. Ooh, look at that turkey wing right there too, guys. Look at that one. Let's grab that turkey wing while we're while we're sitting here. Beautiful turkey wing. I love turkey wings. I used to love those as a kid too. Some things never change. Oh, and there's a tulip. Do you guys see the tulip? Just hanging out right there. Look how cool. Beautiful banded tulip. Here comes a little juvenile conch rolling in. Oh, here's a good little spot. Let's see what you guys can see here. I see a sand dollar. I don't know if it's a whole one or not, but I see a sand dollar, a couple conks, a murex. So let's get the conks. One, two, three conks here. Nice little variety of conks. There's a little murex here. There's another one right here. And there's a little sand dollar, and I don't know if it's whole. Oh, it's almost whole, a little bit chipped. Not too bad. And let's see what we got here. Oh, there's an olive. Can you guys see the olive? There's a pretty olive right here. And a nice shiny olive, perfect little tip on that. Over here we got another tulip. Make sure nobody's home in there. Look how pretty this tulip is. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous tulip. There's another pretty olive right here. Nice light colored one. And here's a little apple murex rolling around. Such a great little shelling area today. little beautiful pink scallops. The scallops are so pretty down on the west end. I mean, you, you won't find scallops like this anywhere else. They're just so bright and vibrant. Lots of orange ones, bright pink, any color you can really think of. And I'm loving all these conks too. Loving all these pretty conks. There's another one. A, a big part of a well. Usually they're broken, but it's always good to check. 
always good to check to make sure because you never know that one time you dig it up, it might be a whole one. You never know. Oh, look, here's a little nutmeg. You guys see the little nutmeg right here? You gotta train your eye. And I know it's harder, harder to see on camera with the water moving, but hopefully it gives you guys a good idea of what to look for because when you come down to the beach, you know, you've got to be able to know what to look for. And so many times I see on social media, uh, people come down to the beach and they say, you know, I can't find shells, but they're here. They're, they're so here. I promise they're here. You just you have to know where to go. And you have to know what to look for because otherwise you might be disappointed. And I don't want any of my viewers to be disappointed. Look at this, another little pretty, little nutmeg here and another little conch. I love the little conchs. I could pick up conchs all day. Pick up conchs till you're all conked out, right? There's a little apple murex. Ooh, that's a pretty one. And everybody has their favorite shell, you know, that they look for, that they can kind of spot because they're kind of always looking for it, you know? If you, um, if you watch social media and you, you watch certain shellers or you follow them on Instagram, you'll, you'll see certain shellers pick up certain shells. It's just they're, they always have a ton of scallops or they have a, a ton of cockle shells or a ton of tulips or a ton of whelks because that's just the shells that they love to pick up. So when you love a shell like that, um, you just tend to spot them. You tend to see them. There's a little olive with the, with the top broken off there but you tend to kind of just see them more often, I guess, because you're kind of always looking for them. Let's check out here real quick, make sure we're not missing anything out here. Orange caught my eye here. Looks like a bay scallop and it's perfect. Let me turn around so you guys can see that. Look how pretty that one is. That's beautiful. I just love orange scallops. Super pretty. Here's a few fun things here. So the first thing that actually caught my eye is this little, looks like a little rough scallop. Look at that little baby, almost red rough scallop there. And then we've got kind of a conk here. And then we, it looks like we've got a whelk buried. Look at the size of that one. That one's kind of cool. It's almost missing its stripes on the side. That's kind of a cool looking whelk. And it looks like this might be a turkey wing buried right here. And it is. Look at that. Another big turkey wing. My goodness. Big wings on that turkey. Here's a little shark eye. Can you see the shark eye rolling? I'll give you guys a second. Caught my eye so it's rolling like a tennis ball. You guys see it? It's flipped upside down right now. Look at that beautiful, perfect little shark eye. Got a little hole in it. Somebody ate him. Somebody had some shark eye for dinner. Another piece of a whelk. Oh, here's another tulip. Tiptoeing through the tulips. Oh, and another one up here. Can you guys see the other one? Look at that. One here. And one right here. Nice. Wow. Super nice. And here's a little conch hiding in the water too. Always check to make sure nobody's home in these shells. Oh, I see spots. Do you 
guys see the little piece of an alphabet cone? That's what you're looking for. It's a piece, but I still collect the pieces because, you know, when it comes to alphabet cones and genodia, the piece is a piece. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for those little pieces. They are here. True tulips are here. Alphabet cones are here. Genonias are here. You just gotta keep your eye out. You gotta be looking for those spots. Look at this big Sunray Venus. It's all bleached out, but this will be a fun shell to paint on. Look at that. If you're a member of Sanibel Shells, that would be a really fun one to paint like a picture on. That would be really cool. got cooking over in this little department. Oh, here we go. Another nutmeg. Nutmeg City today. Sheesh. You don't find a lot of nutmegs on Sanibel, or at least I don't, but today we're doing pretty good. And here's a little olive here. Nice little olive. Such a fun day for shelling today. I'm so glad I was able to come out here tonight. Beautiful scallop. Oh my gosh, I just love the scallops. They're so pretty. They're such a happy shell. They are like the equivalent of daisies. You know, daisies are just such a happy flower. And I feel like scallops are just such a happy shell. They're not super rare. You know, daisies are common, but you see them and it makes you happy. There's another tulip. Speaking of flowers, tulip. And here's another bay scallop right here, orange. Let's see if this one's whole or if it's broken. Oh, it's pretty good. Look at that. Pretty nice, all buried in the sand there. Those are so fun, those big giant bay scallops. And I know there's just so many minis and tinies in here, but I gotta keep moving because I don't know what the tide's doing. We don't wanna miss our window. Here's another little buried whelk. So we always wanna check that out. Looks like here's a, looks like a good size calico clam. Look at that. Woo! Ah, that's a big one. There's a really nice, oh, it looks like a piece of a turkey wing. Oh, no, it is a piece of a turkey wing. And then another big giant heart cockle. I love those giant heart cockles. I think they're so cool. They're so big and colorful and fun. Oh, look at this. You guys see this? So this is, it looks like a piece of a horse conch, big horse conch, but it looks like just a piece. This is what you would look for. And it's got the periostracum, which is the skin, which is all of that dark black on the outside. And then the inside or the outside of the shell here is gonna be the light orange or yellow color of the horse conch. So, Always keep your eye out for those too. You know, they're buried in the sand. When people find those, you know, usually they're not just laying up on the beach. Usually they're buried in the sand. People will find them, you know, out in the water, like where those people are at out there. Um, they'll be out there and they'll step on something big and they'll pull it up at their feet and it'll end up being a giant horse conch. So a lot of them are buried. So keep that in mind when you're looking for the bigger shells. You know, you got to keep your eye out for those shells that are kind of, you know, you just see a glimpse of them hiding in the sand. Speaking of being buried in the sand, um, I just want to remind you guys that it is a really good idea to wear some beach shoes. Um, if you guys can see where I'm standing, um, as I'm walking the brake line, I'm pretty much standing on all the shells. And there are some shells that are super, super sharp, and you don't want to cut your foot. So try to remember to wear some type of water shoe. And I say water shoe um, instead. Oh, here's a little limpet. Look at that. I say water shoe instead of just regular shoe because flip-flops, you know, you, you can trip very easily with flip-flops. So you want to make sure the shoe is secure on your foot. And also, I recommend water shoes that, you know, sand and shells can't get into either. There's a little tinted canthars. I don't find a lot of canthars, but this is what they look like. Um, and you want to make sure, too, that during certain times of the year, when it is stingray season and stingray breeding season, that you are shuffling your feet 
and you're not taking big steps because you don't want to step on a stingray because that would be very bad. Look at this, look at this big piece of a shark eye right here. That would have been gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, there's a pretty little, let me grab that little slipper shell. That's a pretty one. Look how pretty that one is. So always just keep in mind when you're out here, protect your feet. Um, look at that little baby horse pump. Can you see it? Right there. Always protect your feet. And trust me guys, like there's been days when I forgot my beach shoes or didn't bring them or whatever. And it's so uncomfortable to be like your feet will be killing you trying to walk up these shells. So always come prepared. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And if you guys can see now, we've sort of lost a brake line, right? We still have some shells, definitely some minis and tinies. So like, if you're a mini tiny person, like this is where it's at. You just gotta get down here and try to look or scoop um, with a scooper. But this is a great place for minis tinies. But if you're looking for those kind of bigger shells, you'll see that it's getting a little sparse. Right, so I would recommend, oop, there's a little worm shell. Oop, that one. Worm shell here, and let me grab this really pretty coquina too. I love red coquinas. This, how pretty. So gorgeous. So you'll notice that sometimes as you're walking, you just won't see as many shells, right? So that means you either gotta go walk further or you gotta go back the other way. And that and that holds true no matter where you are. If you come out to the beach and you don't see a lot of shells, right? You, you've gotta either walk one direction or go to another beach, but don't ever think that just because you come out to the beach and you don't see shells, that it's because they're not here because they are definitely, definitely here. Little horse conch and a little juvenile fighting conch. But you have to find the spots, right? You gotta go walk, you gotta look, you gotta find those spots. And if you're looking for minis and tinies, you know, you've gotta find the spots for those too. And this is a great little area here, especially if you're looking for coquinas. This is where you're gonna find a lot of your coquinas that are washing up, still intact. So if you're looking for those butterflies for a shadow box or a craft project, this is gonna be great, great, great place for that too. All right, guys, I walked down a little bit and I wanted to show you, um, for those of you who always ask me about tinies and minis, I wanted to show you when you are walking here and you start to see all of this dark stuff here, kind of looks like coffee grounds, but if you can see like all of the little black things, the water this is where your minis and tinies are going to be this is they're going to be right here and when it's wavy like this it's really hard to see them so if you have a little scooper um that's going to be like your best bet or if you wait for the tide to go out i think the tide is coming in right now so it's going to be um, a little bit tricky to sit here and just kind of wait until you know the waves come out or the waves come in so you can kind of see but oops there's a little murex grab that one look at that right here you see this um so it gets it gets a little bit there's a little dusty cone here too so it gets a little bit tricky to shell the brake line for minis and tinies especially when you've got like all of this stuff but this is where it's at all in here there's a little horse conk so this is gonna be like the action-packed area. This is gonna be where your wental traps are. This is gonna be where your, your baby shells are. This is, this is it right here, all of this stuff. The problem is it's really hard to see, right? So what you need to do is you need to turn around. Okay, let me come down here. We're gonna turn around and you're gonna start to see all this black stuff. Do you see it? And this is gonna be your area right here that you're going to be able to shell and find all of your minis 
and tinies. So here is little drill, and here's another little drill. And here's a little turbo here. And you kind of just have to get down low and look. Here's a little button shell. Oh, that's broken. It's missing the little top there. Oh, speaking of tops, here's the top. Right, here comes the tide. So we're going to kind of quickly try to shell this first little area. And I'm sure you guys will see things that I miss because I'm just kind of quickly scanning. Sometimes I come out here and it's low tide and sometimes I come out here and it's high tide and tonight I think I am catching the tide coming in, which is fine. Oh, look at that king crown. Wow. What a gorgeous king crown. Look at that. That is a beautiful specimen right there. Look at the little point there. All right, I can't take too much time to admire because that is coming in. There's a little, two little apple murex shells that are very different in color. Same shell, different color. So you guys will be able to see that. But this is 100% where you're going to find all of the little baby shells. Oh, Wendell! Big Wendell trap, you guys. Look at that look wow that is a perfect and gorgeous lentil trap right there this is where they are let's come down here so you guys can see this little rack line forming and it is easier when the tide is going out for this activity because It'll actually form a little rack line, but for now, it's totally fine to shell here. There's a little baby honk. Let's go back this way. There's some more, more fun things over here. Kinda come up here a little bit. And sometimes for your like teeny tinies, you know, you really gotta kind of sit down, kneel down, really crouch down um, to be able to see them because they are so microscopically tiny. But this is gonna be the area. Is that a flounder fish? You guys see it here? Flounder fish are um, flat. They're like perfectly flat fish. Yeah, let me put it over here. Let's see if we can see what kind of fish it is. I think it's a flounder. I'm not really. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a flounder. They're like, that's the way that they swim. They're like flat like that. Isn't that kind of cool? Poor little flounder. I'm not like a big fish person. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm a shaller, not a fisher person. It's also a great place to find all your little coquinas that are intact. So if you are somebody who is collecting your little butterflies, this is a great place to do that as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you guys a really good kind of quick little tutorial on your minis tinies. Oh, here's a flat scallop. Wow, look at that. I love finding flat scallops. Nice and flat. Remember the other side is called a deep, um, a deep scallop, right? The deep dish or the deep scallop. So it's not flat. But yeah, this is such a great little mini tiny area. Um, but they're all here. This is where they all are. Right in here. Right in all of this stuff. So when you're walking the beach, if you're a mini tiny person, sheller, 
and you want to find your Wendell's and you want to find your tiny shells, this is, this is what you got to look for. Um, and a scooper is going to usually be best because if you use like a sifter, um, they'll go right through like a strainer, you know, so you kind of got to use some type of a scoop that you can scoop a bunch of shells up, um, put it up on the beach and kind of go through it that way. Kind of like I do when I send you guys the, the shells to go through from Morgan Key or Kais, um, or Dickman, you know, I just send you guys big scoops of shells and then you guys can kind of sift through them. So kind of the same idea. See, it's just so hard to see through here with all of that stuff. But this is where they all are. They're all in there. Oh, there's a little worm shell. It's a little wormy here. It's a cute one. Super cute. Ooh, look at this little paper fig and a little tulip. It's hard to rinse them off too. Look at that. A little, I'm sorry, not paper fig, a pear whelk and a tulip. A little tongue tied there for a minute. And there's another little drill. Tiny little drill here. So many good little things right here, you guys. Oh my gosh. And you guys know I just love the minis and tinies and I absolutely love finding wental traps. I think everybody does. They're just such a delicate, lacy, fun shell to find. And so here's a little, here's a little rack line that's kind of forming as the as it pushes up here. So you can kind of see here. Lots of coquinas, so if you're looking for coquinas, this is going to be where they're at. There's another little drill that washed up here. And always make sure, and I will say this a million times, oh, Wendell! Wendell trap washed up, look at that. I'll say this a million times, you guys, like you don't want to find this little Wendell trap. Throw it in your cheap mesh shell bag and then get home and find out it's gone. You want to make sure that you have a really good quality mesh bag that will keep your treasures safe because that's what they are. These are your treasures. You're, you're treasure hunting right now. You're working very hard to find these amazing treasures. And the last thing you want to do is, is finally find that, that special find and then you find out when you get home it's gone. So invest in a good treasure bag, a good shell bag if you need one. You can find ones I have available on my website at virtualshelling.com slash shop. I do have them in different sizes and patterns and they are suitable for your teeny, 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 teeny tinies. Because you guys know that I love teeny tinies. So naturally I would create a bag that is going to keep them nice and safe for you all to find. Look at these little, ooh, where's that little Sarah? That was a cute one, look how cute. These little Sarah's shells. Ooh, look at that little horse conch. You see it? Bright orange there. Bright orange little horsey. Super cute. guys I am heading back before the Sun goes down um, and the bugs come out I am going to be oh my gosh they're fast aren't they little sandpipers I'm gonna be heading back but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me on this fun episode here at the West End of Sanibel Island this was such a great great evening with the water being unusually calm um, and unusually clear. Again, on this end, we usually see a lot of waves and usually the water is not as clear 
as it is tonight. So this was really fun to show you guys how to shell the shallows and shell the break line, finding some really, really fun treasures um, and showing you guys what to look for for minis and tinies also. So if you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, requests, please do reach out to me. You can send me an email directly at virtualshelling at gmail.com. And here we come up with a really, oh, it's a big, big buried, ugh, big buried whelk. So again, these big shells are buried. Oh, this is a nice one too. Well, not super nice, but it is whole. Let's rinse it out a little bit. So here's a good example of a nice big whelk and you can see it's a little beat up but still has got the color and that nice tip here nice colorful tip so you can take that home stick it in your garden flip it upside down put a plant in it that's really cool um they are buried so when you're out here you've got to look for the tops of these big shells because otherwise you you might not see them they might not just be if they're sitting out like that Usually it's because somebody like me came along, found one and stuck it up there on the beach, right? So usually you're not gonna just see them laying out. You're gonna have to, to find them buried. That goes for the big horse conks, that goes for, um, you know, like this right here, another piece of a big whelk, right? Gonna be buried, so keep your eyes open. But please do reach out if you have any questions. If you have any comments, I love hearing feedback about these episodes, you guys. I, I truly do. I love hearing that you had fun, that you enjoyed um, with whatever episode you're watching. I, I do love that. Thank you so much for your support and being a member of the Virtual Shelling Network. Here's a beautiful view of the sunset. Until next time, have a shelltastic day, and I will see you guys again soon.